Hello there, buddy. We are back with more Dinkums. I have actually installed a mod that tells us, little UI mod, tells us how much everything we have is worth. So very cool mod. Calculates the stacks. This stack of apples is worth about 1.1k. Uh, these funnel web spiders spit over a thousand a piece. Not bad. Crocodile tooth, 7,000 for two of them. This uh, battery, 3,000. Very cool mod. I'm going to be doing a, a tutorial on how to download this mod. Phenomenal. Quick too. So uh, very happy with this mod. It's going to be very useful. But uh, where do we kind of start? Where do we leave off in this? We uh, we basically left off with getting this this uh, this store going. And I've learned a little bit today while I was at work. I definitely wasn't looking at different uh, Reddit and <laughs> uh, comments on <laughs> the game on Steam when I should have been working. I wasn't doing that. But if I was to have been doing that, <clears throat> what I definitely didn't definitely did find out was that uh, relationship is one of the biggest ways you actually get new people into your town and expand the town. There is a museum and a bunch of other stuff, but relationship is huge. So uh, we want to get this guy out of here and into a permanent deed place so that we can get to the next one, which also means we want to make oodles of money. So I'm basically going to sell a whole bunch of this stuff right now, except for the old key, because I think there might be some really good other use for it. We'll sell the crocodile teeth because our main goal for the meantime is going to be to actually, I kind of want to grow those. They look nice. Is actually to try and find, oh, by the way, old signs, one of the easiest ways for early money, 10,000 gold right there. We want to actually get as much gold as possible so we can get the deeds going um, and get people from in the visitor's tent to a permanent home so that somebody new can come into the visitor's tent. Yes, 35,000. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. And uh, the other thing that I've uh, been told is that you have to click on these to actually claim the permit points. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like a nub, but we do, if they're bopping around like that, you have to claim them individually. The daily ones get claimed automatically, which is what made me a little bit confused. But, man, if I only use my gamer knowledge, it was pretty clear that they have to be manually claimed. So, we're going because they're shiny and bumping up and down. So, we're going to claim all this stuff. We're going to get a bunch of permit points. Oh, look at that. Oh, great. Good money wonderful it wants us to spend a thousand dinks we can do that easily so a lot of permit points coming in pretty quickly your craft two items clear two tree stumps spend a thousand dinks well let's see what might we want let's go get a permit for maybe uh fishing i think might be the next thing we want to kind of look into a bit more uh, i did learn a little bit about fishing including that there's a fish that's worth uh like sixteen thousand just for one fish um, so a very valuable fish that would be to go ahead and catch. I have a little bit of information as to where we might find that and how we would get that fish going. But, um, we also are going to probably need to get a bit more wood going. We have a bit right there. Uh, cause I do want to, uh, we definitely need to maybe get some more tin going because I want to make a uh, box. Start putting some, some nice things in the box that I don't want to, uh, use or lose at the moment. So when we hop in here and do some quick day stuff though first uh let's chat do you need anything okay some new clothings anything new in my wardrobe sure let's see i sold the thing i had but maybe i can at least give her the eye patch if i need to so we'll think about that in the meantime let's look for a new license whoa don't know what that audio glitch was. Uh, man. Allows a holder craft basic weapons, farming, landscaping, building, simple bridges, vehicle. Okay, we're start. We got some stuff now. We've got some options here. Why don't we also get the um, excavation one for now as well? And there's other stuff I want to do. Metal detecting, apparently very good. But this, I, I want to get a box going, wooden box. What else do I need? One palm wood plank, one gum wood. We'll get those going right now. And uh, that way we can have that taken care of. There is a way, I'm told, to uh, repair in the future different items. But in the meantime, we're just going to focus on this. So, But yeah, really love that tool tip. Able to see how much everything's worth if we were to sell it now. So let's go ahead and get this done. Get the box. Uh, two of those? Wow, my brain did not do the math on that one. Which one was that for two? Gumwood. 
So that's our last gum wood. That's our last gum wood. We got it though. We'll do that because I want a box. I want to be able to put some stuff down and get out of my inventory so I can get more things in my inventory to sell. So yes, again, oh, uh, torches by the way, good way to, to go fishing at night apparently. Fishing this game, you must actually see the fish. If you're not seeing the fish, there's nothing there to catch. Unlike, say, uh, Stardew Valley, where you just kind of pop it out there, and sure enough, given enough time, something comes in and nibbles. This isn't quite like that, so. Just put the nails in there, and maybe anything else. We don't really need root poo at the moment. Um, we're going to need some food. I can need all that much food. That's more for healing. Uh, meat, not bad in terms of its value either, but let's put the, the copper ore and the uh, quartz crystal, crystal in there as well. So, there's mining in this game. I don't really know quite how to unlock it. I think it might be through a character unlock. We'll have to get, keep that in mind and get to that at some point if there's some really good valuable things we can get from in there. Uh, by the way, I did hear that there were some issues with the quality of the uh, of the visuals. It looked great on my side, but there's some weird bugs with the, with the way that it uh, pulls resolution. So, hopefully this should be good now. Okay, what do you want to chat about? Do you have a job? A blue moon butterfly. Uh, yeah, I should be able to do a blue moon butterfly. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Or if he just wants me to catch it, or if he wants me to give it to him. Those are different things. Because he doesn't have anything in there uh, that that I can give in terms of a... I don't know if I want the eye patch to go. But this is for you. I found clothing. You said anything. <laughs> You're the best. I really owe you in here. Take this. Not much, but thanks. Yo, awesome. Holiday shorts. I don't understand that. So you gave me clothing. I gave you clothing and you gave me clothing back. You know what? It's the thought, right? It's the thought that counts, maybe. Okay, let's get some stuff cooking here. And in the meantime, try to find ourselves one of those blue whatever butterflies. We immediately got it. Wonderful. We'll bring that right to him before I forget. About 300 gold right there. 300 dinkums. There is a butterfly called... What's it called? It's not Gypsy, is it? No. Maybe it is. Harley Quinn. The Harley Quinn butterfly is worth several thousand. So that's that's what you're hunting for. Flies are worth 78. They're terrible. So uh, I think you can more or less ignore flies for the most part. So this is for you. I do have a blue moon butterfly. Right there, Blue Moon Butterfly. Here you go. Continuing to improve that heart quality. Give me the thing. Sure. Brick wall. Brick well. Water from deep down. Nice. Nice. I like that. Fishing rod. Yeah, I'll take it. Excellent. And then the other thing I want is going to be a basic axe. I will take that as well. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and check here. See if there's anything else, uh, you know, hovering in a... In a, in a, you gotta touch me and find out what I give you type manner. No, nope. so clearing two stumps is the only thing left, and I wouldn't mind doing that actually, um, because we are low on uh, tree resources, at least some tree resources. But fishing is kind of more what I want to look for here today. So we see a fish out there, right? I've never done it before. Okay, so I don't know exactly what this looks like. I may have to get closer. Didn't seem interested. Can we fish the shark in? I guarantee that's a no. We got a little fish right here. Grab it. What happens? How does it work? Oh, he didn't like that. So it's not like a yank it when they're on it kind of deal. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see. We're in front of some boys. Let's see what we get. Nibble. Okay. I think the rule is when they're swimming away, you don't reel in, and you reel in when they are not swimming away. That's been my understanding from reading through some uh, little guides about it. So There we go. Nicely done. What did we catch? A jungle perch. Fishing, not bad, not hard. It does look like you maybe have to tell a little bit about like what the fish is by looking at it, which is cool. So I will, I, I want to, I want to go ahead and try for the rarer fish at some point. But for now, 
Let's make some money. Get our fishing level up. I haven't actually discovered the value necessarily of the uh, of the um, shoot, what was I going to say now? Of the leveling up. What that does, I know that some things, some forging things in particular, I've read, require certain levels in order to get drops from certain things. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Oh, he apparently nearly got away right there. Our tarpon. We got another guy over here. Looks looks like he's a hefty boy. There you go. We got in front of him. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's not too bad. Uh-huh. Wow, he, he's him for a long time. I'm going to have to be more careful with this guy. I was wondering if they only do it three times. That doesn't seem to be the case. That was four. The last one was also four. And it looked like he was trying to go again. A carp. Okay, wonderful. Let's see how much these guys are all worth. 1,200 for the jungle perch. 4,000 for the tarpon. And 2,000 for the carp. This does not seem like a particularly bad way to make some money. We're close to that fish. I think that's a fish. Is that not a fish under there? He may be stuck. He may actually be stuck. So, Gotta get that in front of him, maybe. Perfect. Uh-huh. Oh, it's delicious. You want it? Dive in. So a quick left click on the mouse is uh, what you need to do in order to get them on the line. And they seem to swim immediately, which makes sense. It's fundamentally what fish do when you yank a line into their jaw. But not bad at all. Another jungle perch, not the most valuable one. So I'm starting to learn the colors. That, I believe, would be another jungle perch right there. Not that one, though. Not that further one out. That's the big boy. That's the big boy, I think. The 4K, not the 16K. Woo! Swim, little doggy. I like it. It's not bad. Some people were complaining about it. I don't find it that ridiculous. Um, it's not, in my opinion, so far as rewarding as Stardew Valley's. Stardew Valley's had a really good mix between simplicity. And actual just raw fun. So, yep, there's another 4K one. Nice. We can make some good money. I mean, time has passed. My energy is not too bad, though. Let's go. I'd say we're in a lake-type environment here. Let's go see if we can maybe get to another environment. Oh, hello. You look pretty. Which one are you? Scarlet Jezebel. I don't believe that one was particularly valuable. Those guys, those fishies underneath me look about normal. Standard. Your standard fishing. Fishy boys right there. These are gum trees, if I'm not mistaken. They're the gum logs with them. So I would call this the ocean here. Uh-oh. I don't think we're in front of anybody with that one. Oh, we would have been. If I was maybe a little bit more patient. Right on top of that, boy. What we got here. I love it. And there might be a more efficient way of doing it. It's possible that maybe, like, spam clicking might be more efficient. I don't know. Didn't seem to hurt to spam click a little bit. Blue spotted flathead. Let's check that guy out. So the Scarlet Jezebel about 800. This guy, blue spotted, was not not a golden catch. Get a quick little cast out for this guy right here. You want it. Looks like it may be the same guy. Really swam, though. Really went for it, man. That's pretty cool. They are modeled. They're modeled in the water. You know? 
I, I like that. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, another spotted flathead. So there's a blue guy way out there. Yeah! Turn around, little fishy. Come to me. Come to me, little fishy. Nah. Doesn't seem interested. That guy looks like the same kind, so I'm going to ignore him. I think it's very possible, maybe even likely, that at different ranges, you might have different fish, right? It's quite possible that nothing in the short area, you know, in the area close to shore, may not be as valuable as the stuff further out. This all looks more or less the same. Very interesting. I enjoy it. I'm, I, I like the fishing. I think that's fine. That's not a problem. Okay, another thing, though, is that in these in this darker deeper water they might be harder to find funnel web it's good money it's not bad money especially for a single little click right there i don't know what's that oh i don't know if i can swim out there because you get exhausted as you swim there's a fish right there it looks a bit like a carp though Let's uh, reel it in and figure it out. That may be not a carpet. I can't tell if it's blue. I will say this, though. Time is definitely passing by, right? That other fish is the one we've caught. That's a flathead right here. What's this? This is a blue one. It's a blue fish. Well, that would make sense now, Skim. Wouldn't it? That would make sense. <laughs> All right, cool. So we've fished at the beach. We fished at one of the lakes. I don't know how many other areas there are necessarily, but, um, yeah, very cool. I like it. How, how much space do we have? Uh, four o'clock has already passed. It may be too late to go and sell. We might try our luck, see if we can't maybe get back there. I don't know when they close. If it's four or five, I don't really quite know, but a lot of people are unhappy with uh, having to right-click to pick up each individual thing. I get it. I can understand some of that frustration, but I haven't found it to be a big deal. I just kind of spam click. Oh, why don't we try to, while we see them, get some of those done. A couple logs. Stumps. Yep, there you go. Extra extra permit points. I mean, listen, our permit looks fine, right? We have a ton. Oh, yeah, he's already, he's already on his way. I see. Oh, cool. They talk. Cool. That's cute. That's cute. All right, so now, um, do I have enough space in here to keep fishing for a little bit longer? I do. I definitely have enough space to keep fishing. I want to try for uh, for some rare fish, and I have I have been told some potential secrets as to where they might frequent more often. A lot of the stuff is still very new, and uh, and I don't know how to read through all the different. <laughs> Oh, but we don't have a torch. Huh. I wonder if we can make one real quick. Otherwise, it might be really hard for us to see any fishies that do exist out there in the deep. Okay. It looks like John's trying to talk to Fletch, and Fletch is like, bro, leave me alone, my dude. Wooden torch. Mangrove stick. Okay, well, where do I find mangroves at? I don't think that's mangrove. That may be mangrove. Whoo, I know we've seen them. I just don't remember where. What do we have here? Oh, cooked banana. Why don't we actually eat one of those? Maybe even two of those. Restack the health for a little bit. Now, you can stay out too late in this game. And if you do stay out too late in this game, you will fall asleep and be sad. And I get it. Um, Those are mangrove-ish. I think that might actually be mangrove right there. Let's see what we got. Mangrove sticks. I like it. Let's go back. 
Let's go back. Let's take care of business. Get some torches. See if we can't catch anything rare tonight. So the really rare one, apparently, that's worth 16,000, is the Barracuda. There's other ones that are worth like 10,000, 12,000. So there's other options as well that are pretty rare, but let's see. So I have been told Barracuda are at night. I've been told they don't require a specific, it doesn't seem like they require a specific level of fishing and that they uh, uh, tend to be in the ocean and people seem to think towards the north side. So we're gonna run up here and uh, see if we can't prove that to be the case or not the case either way. So, so far, uh, we're in the very early stages of this game. I think, um, you know, very fun so far and definitely enjoying it. But this is the early stages of this game. There's a lot more that I've seen people getting done uh, that I'm not even close to, including... Oops, let's not go to the jellyfish. Uh, including um, a lot of farming animals and stuff like that. Okay, Firefly. Gotta grab that. Gotta grab that. Oh, I love it. It's so freaking cute. All right. This is where I want to be. Hard to tell if there's fishies out here. But here's what we're, we're going to do. We've got apparently eight torches, it says. That's a pearl. Does that kill the torch? No. That's a pearl. I love it. Oh, I think I may have seen a fish right there. I can turn. Very nice to know. I can turn while casting. That's a cool thing. Eat it, dude. Eat it. This does not look like a barracuda. Oh, he can run, though. He runs, that's for sure. All right, come on back in, my dude. Come on back in. See what the heck you are. Hopefully, you're worth lots of money to me. And uh, there's a museum. I don't know if I mentioned that. There is, in fact, a museum, a lot like Animal Crossing, which I think is a very cool and beneficial thing to have, for sure. All right, we got him. He's in. <laughs> I almost messed that one up. My hubris. A barracuda! It is a barracuda! That's 16,000 right there. That's it! That's all we had to do. I am... I was expecting a little bit more. He was challenging. Okay, let's look back at the map, guys. I was told the north. I don't know if that's actually relevant. But the beach does seem to be relevant. That does not look like, it, like the same fish we just caught. So I'm going to say that's probably not a barracuda. Quite close to the mouth of that estuary, maybe? I don't know. And the torch really, frankly, if I'm being honest, does not light up very much. That could be another barracuda. Let's see. Can we make another six? 16, that is to say. 16,000. Barracuda. Is this the Barracuda land? It looks like one, guys. That could be 32,000 in two catches. This is how to make early game money. We'll have the new shop paid off in another catch of a Barracuda. Like, listen, he makes me work for it. He runs. Definitely that fish runs, but... My guess is that's like the challenge meter, right? As how frequently or how far away they run. But it doesn't seem like there's... There's not too much of a challenge, you know? There's not... It's not particularly hard. It's not massively relaxing or rewarding, but there it is. Another Barracuda, guys. 36,000. That's not a Barracuda. That might be another one. Is it this? Is it really this easy? Is it really this easy to farm? No other fish, you stay away. I 
I'm pretty sure that's a Barracuda right there. Pretty sure we got ourselves another one. That's insane. That's going to be what? 32, 58,000. Is that right? 40,000? 48,000, I think. Oh, we'll check it with the with the add-on in a second in the mod. See what the stack is worth. Or, I guess, uh, it won't stack them. Fish don't stack in this game. That's the first time it went a different direction. That's interesting. Barracuda number three. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. How to hunt for Barracuda. Oh, I just ran. And it may have scared that Barracuda away. Oh, he's right there. He's still right there. This is this is ridiculous. I don't know if he's going to turn around and see that or not. He's in the sand now. Come on, buddy. Give me more money. Okay. How to farm money in the early game of of uh, Dinkums. If you're looking to make massive amount of money without much work in Dinkums and afford all the things you want immediately, uh, Barracuda Fishing, it's 9 o'clock. I have time probably to catch several more if I wanted to. I probably won't um, because I feel like we've, we've done pretty well for ourselves today. But yeah, that was four Barracuda. Um, we've hardly walked around at all. We really didn't need the torches. Uh, this will be my barracuding f fishing spot right there. Perfect. I love it. Okay. So, again, I was told the north is f potentially more frequent, but it's hard to know. But it has to be at night. It has to be in the ocean. That's what I've been told. So, um, that's your that's your barracuda right there. Must be a night. Jellies. <laughs> Must be in the ocean. I'm confident we could keep going if we wanted to. I just don't see the reason to. Four barracuda. 16k a piece. I'm pretty happy with that. I would imagine there's other things we can only catch like that. A bongong moth. Any value? 260. But again, you know, eventually we're going to get the uh, the museum in here. And I love collecting for the museum. So that'll be a very cool thing to do. So 64,000 dinkums made in about... Uh, three hours of game time, maybe? Not bad, I would say. Not bad at all. Why don't we call it a night, though? Since we don't really have any more, uh, any more, uh, capability, really, of catching or having anything else in our inventory. We're pretty full up. Tomorrow we'll sell, make a oodle ton of money. Bug catching. Fishing. That's the Barracudas. I think it's done by cash value is my assumption, right? So, there you go. 35000 earned, and a lot of that was from different treasures we had gotten. I don't know. Those treasures might be valuable for other things. But, um... I also know you can go uh, treasure hunting, so... Hey, dude! What are you doing out here? What's your job? Bluefish? Southern Oceans this time? Yeah, no problem, dude. I'll try to catch you a bluefish today. I can try. I could probably do that. Can you come into your shop, though? Are you closed today or something? 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed on Sundays. Friday. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, no problems with that. Yep. Um, let's chat. Do you need anything? Two tin bar? I don't know if I can. I think you you really shouldn't. You're not supposed to theoretically accept those things if you can't actually do them. So, just so you know. Also, apparently, sometimes they want you to just talk. How lucky is that bush lime grows natively here? My favorite food. I love them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So she loves those. That's cool. All right, buddy, come on. It's got to be. It's got to be eight o'clock too soon. You're just lounging, man. You're not doing much work at all. What do I pay you for? 
I don't pay him at all. Okay, we have a pearl, 5K. I may keep that because I haven't seen it if it's useful for anything yet at this time. Uh, so I'll put the pearl in there maybe. We got some fish and stuff in there, mangrove stick. We'll put that in there as well right now. Gum logs, holiday shorts. We'll sell those probably. Stone, the torches I wouldn't mind keeping. Oh, we could get some bananas cooking. We could cook some bananas. So bluefish, southern oceans. We're finding them down here, so apparently that's considered southern ocean. Barracuda, northern ocean. Man, very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, well, we will, we'll get to that form uh, here in a little bit. In the meantime, let's just get some bananas cooking. We're going to continue to cook while we go and do our selling, and let's see how we do. Oh, now we talk in a furnace, stone grinder, barbecue, metal detector, nice. Old gear. Okay, so we can get, like, the old gear and stuff, which is great. A mine pass. Oh, I think that might be to get into the mine. I don't think we're ready for that yet. A torch? That is a flashlight torch. Okay. Machine manual. We don't call them torches in America. That'd be a flashlight. <laughs> torch is something totally else. Uh, okay. Sell goods. All right, guys. Let's see. So we did one day of mostly fishing, right? And we have uh, a few tarpons. Uh, firefly. I might keep the firefly, honestly. Oh, I might keep the bluefish, too. Maybe I can give that right back to him. I don't know if it needs me to catch it or not. But the big part is we have four Barracuda. A total of 64,000 just there. So how much total are you going to give me? 81,000. All right. Day six, we're making 81,000. <clears throat> Fishing's OP, guys. <laughs> That's insane. That's actually really crazy. Okay. Here you go. I did find a bluefish. I happen to already have one, which is great. It saves me the time. I am the best. You do owe me. And thank you very much. A pink singlet. All right. I'm not really into pink, personally. I get it. Uh, but it's just not for me. So you can have the pink singlet back. Yeah, do it. 600 is fine. That's fine. Okay, so what is it that we want? We're swimming in money. First things first, actually. Okay, I do want to buy the torch. <clears throat> the flashlight. Yeah, yeah, 6K? Yeah, I feel like that seems like that's a good opportunity to have here. Does look like it has a limited amount of battery. Does it not? Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay, let's put that away maybe um, until we have to actually use it because it, I mean, it wasn't that expensive, frankly, with how much money we can make. It's not that expensive. But if we have a final banana, let's cook the banana. I wouldn't mind. Uh, we're gonna, so what I wanted to do with this money, because there's lots of stuff we could buy. First thing I want to make sure I do is pay off all the rest of the debt. 74000 here. So uh, that's interesting. Seventy four. It was 75. That means that the, it does natively go down from, you know, these guys, these two, these two villagers here with me uh, paying it down. Well, we're not going to make them pay any more of it down, though, because we're going to uh, pay down the whole amount. So it would have been nice if I could just hit it. Seven, four, five, seven, four. Confirm. Debt free. Thank you for, the, for your contribution. Yeah, no worries. What's up? Fletch. What else do we have? Anything in particular? All we have is a building board for the community to post news, news and requests. We will want that. A singular place to go for all the requests would be great. But I'm not worried about it yet. And I don't know what the next thing's going to talk about. House? 95 up front. And you have to source some materials yourself. I'm not ready for it yet. I don't have the 95. But it wouldn't take long with Barracuda, dude. Um, What are the licenses might I want here? Logging license. Level up to unlock further. Fishing license. Allows the whole to see bubbles created by underwater creatures i mean unlocks new fishing rod recipe all right let's do it copper fishing rod can reel faster metal detector hunting farming landscaping crafting pathing options building simple bridges vehicle license okay cool i'm happy overall 
Do we have any more little bubby, bubbly guys? Nope. Catch four bugs, chat with three residents. I can't do that because I only have two. Harvest 15 bottle brush. Whoa. We are shining. Good, good, good. Yes, delicious. What was the entrepreneur one? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Cool. All right, well, that explains a few things. We've upgraded some stuff. We have some money. We need to get more people in here and just generally build out the town. So I like it. I'm, I'm pretty happy overall. Is there anything we might need? A stone grinder. I don't know what you do. Get those little materials out of those big old stones and turn regular rocks into cement. Yeah. And what's that, a furnace? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, why not? <laughs> you know, it's a bit like, why would I not right now? Put that there. And then the furnace, the faster furnace. Oh, for a second, I thought it was selling for more, but I had those uh, backwards in my mind. Okay, sweet. There you go. Let's try to continue working on catching bugs and harvesting bottle brush and stuff like that. Is it more valuable, you know, per unit of time in terms of actually making money to do other things? Probably. Probably is. But I think that um, we want to keep the rest of this stuff going too. So we're actually going to buy two more things here. We're going to buy a new fishing net. Yeah, I'll buy that because I think the other one's going to break. And I also want to buy a new... Uh, basic pickaxe as well. I will take that. Okay, so we spent down an insane amount of money today, right? An insane amount of money. But I also think we got some stuff that we probably really shouldn't have theoretically have gotten at this point. I have no doubt that there's gonna be a rebalance of some of this, some of the stuff. So this, this little uh, barracuda cheat might only work for a period of time. We might want to run this way, kind of like that. Check that area for the bush stuff, and then also catching some creepy crawlies. Don't think we need a bone for anything at the moment. I haven't noticed anything dangerous spawning at night. I don't believe there is a night spawning cycle in the same way that there is in, say, Minecraft or anything. So it's not something that I'm currently worried about. Am I getting attacked? Oh, I am under attack. Ran over his nest just to see if there's anything there. And then I'll just kind of boogie on out of there for now. All right. Wouldn't mind maybe collecting some more bananas. Well, I'm out this way. But again, the creepy crawlies. Part of our daily, daily chore here. Okay, and we said bananas. We want to go south now, though. Try to find the red bush stuff. A few bananas here or there while we run. A few of these. Yeah, not really even looking what they are. That might be annoying to you. If it is, I partially apologize. Partially because also... Man, I don't like that fact that I can't even really get over. We do need to get excavation and stuff like that ready to go. So that we can start kind of making this place a little bit more traversable and built out over time. I literally can't even get to some things here. Maybe I should have checked that stuff out. Maybe that was valuable things. I can see underwater fish. Look at that. Okay, so... Is this like a bug catching kind of deal? Let's come up. A blue mussel. Nice. Okay, cool. I don't know if they're worth much of at all. 800. That'd be a no... Did I get what I needed for the bugs? I need one more bug. Bug it! Bug it! Great. And I know shells were another option as well to unlock over here. I'm not 
too worried with that. So the bottle bush is the only thing that we really would otherwise be looking for. I don't really know what biome it's in, to be honest. We need to start going the opposite direction. That much I do believe. Great. Still kind of stuck, uh, like, trying to get past this extra large obstacle here. There you go. And now it's fine. <laughs> as soon as I complain about it. So flies, yeah, you know, grab them for a donation once you get the, the museum. But the value otherwise doesn't seem to exist for flies. There's a few other other um, pretty decent Scarlet Jezebel. Pretty decently priced. Oh, actually, I do need something. I, I did want to actually do a bit of this while I was here. And so we will get that done. I don't want to attack that ant eater. But I 100%. Hopefully that's not too jarring in your ears, guys. A little bit jarring in my ear. A lot of a lot of copper and uh, tin stuff here. So turns out I could have taken that request. Don't attack me. Stay up there where you belong. Nice. I think I got an achievement for breaking something. If only the real world worked like that. Oh, did you break that? Have some gold. Okay. Cook banana. Cook banana. Cook banana. Back to the harvesting. I love it. Guys, it's calming. It's relaxing. Seriously, I enjoy this game. Wouldn't mind some uh, stone as well while we're here. And then if we can, I don't know what time necessarily that the uh, barracuda start. Wouldn't mind learning. But if we can get back in time... To do a little bit of night fishing again. Get a few thousand, tens of thousands more gold. I would, don't know if I would complain about that. Don't know if I would complain. So we were looking for collecting some of that red brush shrub stuff. Doesn't really appear to be in this particular biome. You can check out a biome like this. Doesn't seem to be there either, really. Check this biome. And uh, get get to the fishing, maybe. And then I might have to call this episode a little bit shorter. I found it. Okay, it's like the foresty-ish biome. We might have to call it a little bit early because I have a uh, dinner that I'm helping to cook here. And we've already been recording for long enough that it's probably ready. So, I don't know if my wife was able to uh, check on it. She's been busy herself. As I've been begging to play more of this game all day, basically. And eh, maybe I'll get enough. So, this rock looks different. Let's just check this out real quick. Give me a stone. About it. Didn't seem otherwise particularly interesting. Let's see, 12. I think if we got one more, we would actually be able to complete that. Which would not make me sad. Nothing really between me and home, though. It's the same biome. There's some little thing over there we've already seen. we got to cross this river if we're going to try to find that. Alright, we'll give it a go. Try to figure that out. Get the fishing done. Collect a few more barracuda. Make some some tens of thousands. I would call that a pretty successful day. We could both increase our amount of actual supplies that are probably not as easily purchasable. And at the same time, make a few tens of thousands. That's a, that's a good day. Hopefully this is enough. Yup, it was three. Just enough. Let's go home. This way... For like a while. I'll just not move my camera so I know to stay in this direction. <laughs> Follow the voxels this way, guys. Follow the voxels. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I've been enjoying playing this a lot. 
Um, but I've also been enjoying playing a little bit of Town of Salem and 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 the old stuff again. So hopefully you'll see a little bit more of me around for a little while at least. Should we grab this these treasure pieces real quick while we're here? I think we might as well. Old gear, sliding handle. I feel like we will be able to craft with this at some point. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we now want to go this direction. Swimming. Again. And we're going to want some cooked bananas before we swim too much further, I think. Is that a crock over there? Yeah, it is. You stay on that side. I'll stay over here. Crocodile uh, scales or teeth, whatever it was that we got, was pretty valuable, too. I did see that treasure off to the right. I'm going to ignore it. Got to get home. Got to get home. Got to get home. Home, home. It's time to make oodles of money. I don't have time for little treasure when I have barracuda. A few barracuda to hunt. Did I get a lot of stuff to sell? Maybe a few things. Might be valuable to stop off at the shop real quick and load some of this. And then maybe, uh, probably not a bad idea to get some of that other stuff. So, so I feel like the ground is changing here. Whoa. Mail. Fletch sent me something. Been working hard, I'll tell you what. How's he going to notice? Because you've been increasing your skills. There's a new level of fishing license. I've already uh, actually got it. Thank you. I think I appreciate you. It feels like like the ground is, is changing here. It's becoming flatter. I don't know if that's part of the process. Not a bad process. If they're like slowly uh, flattening the area out as the, as the town grows, it makes a lot of sense to me that you would do that. Okay, let's just sell, you know, the firefly. Well, not the firefly. I think I wanted to keep that in case I don't find many of them. I'm going to keep that stuff for now, but I'll sell the bottle brush. I'll keep that stuff because I do think we're going to need it. We have plenty of space still to uh, to get what we need done, done. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A little bit of gold. More importantly, probably cleaning up some stuff. Let's go here. Let's race them. A quick race while we wait for a little bit later, maybe some barracuda hunting do you have a torch we might grab the torch but i also kind of don't want to miss it who's going to be first <laughs> is it actually faster i'd be a little bit mad if it wasn't i gotta text the wife real quick too okay that's that that's done two minutes three minutes i'm not gonna count the minutes <laughs> Okay, that's like at least significant. <laughs> it's at least not not significant. Okay, well, there you have it. That was a bit of time right there. Maybe twice as fast or something. I want to go ahead and grab our torch in case we need it to help us find some... Where is it at? Some delicious fish. Great. Shift click works. That's nice to know. We've got that making more tin. And we're going to go up to this direction. This direction about. In order to find our fishing hole. Great. I love it. Well, there you go. Oh, another thing about Barracuda that I did not mention then. Um, that I will definitely mention if I craft it into a specific video for Barracuda. Is um, you 100% can only find Barracuda during the spring and summer months okay spring and summer months is barracuda time oh my bet my bet is when you start seeing if you can see so 5 30 maybe could be that switch here for the summer because i bet when you start seeing um what's it called 
If you're seeing moths, you probably can see Barracuda. Eh, that's all right. It's not my favorite. I was hoping for a little bit more, to be honest, from that. We might have two Barracuda. We may have two fishies there. One of which looks like it could be a Barracuda. Nah, I don't know. It looks a little bit short and tall. I don't think that's going to be our Barracuda, guys. It's running pretty good, but I don't think that's our boy. It's cool. It's cool. We'll get it. We'll find some Barracuda. What are you, though? I honestly don't know. Blue spotted flathead. You're useless to me. You're useless. You can be in the water a little bit. That looks that looks like it's probably not one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That could be over there on that side. There he is. I don't know. It does look a little bit wider. I think that's another blue spotted flathead. Man, day two. Not as lucky. Not as lucky on day two for barracuda hunting so far. But we know what to look for, which is good. And neither of you guys look like you're the right size or shape. There, It was a little bit like that in Animal Crossing, where you could sometimes tell by the shape of the fish and the time of the year, at least. That looks like it could be our boy. Not that. Not that one. Go away. I don't want you. I don't want... No, no. Stop chasing my lore. <laughs> I don't want you. We're going to cast it almost in the same spot. See if we can get this guy. I don't know. It looks like it could be a little... It's a little rounded on the head, too. Ah, oh, we're just going to let the other guy hit it. Look at the crawfish on the left. This might be a blue fish. Ooh. Oh, I might lose this. Let's see. Oh, man. Is it possible that by leveling my permit license, I, like, change the ratio of fish that were occurring? That would be a little bit shitty as a bluefish. Listen, still. That's a shark. Unlikely that he'll get us what we need. He looks flat. I can't believe it, guys. I feel like I haven't seen a single barracuda yet. Possible, perhaps that it was still the wrong time. What's that, eh? Oh, it's a pearl again. That was pretty good value too. I don't mind the, grabbing the pearl real quick. I don't know what this fish is. There's something in there. I thought. Oh, I think it's a jellyfish. I think it's a jelly. Well, maybe we have to go further up. I know we have... What is that? What is that fish? That's like a stingray. What is that? I mean, I know what it is now. I just want it. Please? Please? I'll never sell you. I love stingrays. Sweet. So we're currently ocean night fishing in summer, and we found ourselves a stingray. Annoyingly, 
No barracudas, although that looks like it could be one. Let's focus on the stingray guys, right? Let's not lose the stingray. Woo hoo hoo! I love it. Very cute. Very cute. Where was this other guy? He was out here. I might cast real quick just to see if I can't find him again. That uh, could be him on the left. He looks a little bit tall, to be honest, to be what I'm looking for. I think he is. I think it's another blue fish. Yeah, pretty sure that's a blue. Pretty sure it's a bluey. Oh, well, we'll keep fishing. It's still better money than anything else we would be doing at this particular moment. But a little bit bummed. We haven't been able to find the same grouping, I guess, of barracuda that we found just last night in the same exact location, marked by my little uh, torch. Because this is not one. This is not one. Looks like a blue. All right. Well... I do like the fact that we can determine, to at least a degree, what kind of fishes are where. It doesn't feel to me that, you know, that little light helps a bunch. That looks like a barracuda, guys. I think we found our barracuda. Oh, we got it. Yeah, not sure, not sure if it was the timing or just bad luck, but uh, at least we know, that, you know, the 16,000 here, um, it'll bring us up to a decent amount for the day, even with us spending a whole bunch of the day collecting actual resources we need. Not bad, guys, not bad. We have found the cheat mode for summer, early summer in this game. That looks like another stingray, that looks like another stingray. Mm hmm Oh, no. Oh, no. I nearly lost it right off the bat. I gotta be perfect. Gotta be perfect. I do think I saw a, a barracuda off on the right-hand side, on the other side of this little thing. But Stingray, guys. I love Stingrays. They're so cool. There you go. Perfect. I think there was a Barracuda out on this side. We're going to switch, swim over. That's not it. That looks like a blue, but that. That looks like it could be. Nope. It's closer to the blue. The blue's going to go. Fishy? Nah. Nah, Barracuda doesn't seem to be noticing it. I don't want you, Blue. I don't want you, my dude. Barracuda. We got him. Come on. Before the Blue. Before Blue. Nice. We got the Barracuda. <laughs> this is easy money. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Pretty darn easy. 10 p.m. Man, another 16 here. We'll probably get ready to head back and call it a day. And uh, probably call it an episode. Hour long. I hope you guys don't mind. I like giving... I think this kind of format of a game is better for longer videos. So if you made it to this point in the video, say, Skim, your nose is humongous. And say nothing else. And I won't mention it. And you and I will know. And no one else has to know that you guys are awesome. They'll know. They'll be like, I don't understand where this comes from. But okay, guys. But we'll know. We'll always know. I mean, I might as well search for another Barracuda while I'm running around, right? Heading back in this general direction. That could be a bear. Oh, it definitely is. 
<sighs> He's swimming like away though. That's far that we can get. Let's give it a second. Let's let it sit there a second. Come on. Come on, buddy. Another 16,000. I'm supposed to be going. I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be eating dinner and having a, you know, re rendering this video, but instead I'm just fishing, man. I can't stop the fishing. I can't stop this fishing in my bones. This is good money though, seriously. The amount of, like we we bought out the store yesterday on day Five. I do not know of a uh, of ever doing that in Stardew or not Stardew Valley, excuse me, Animal Crossing. So yeah, people have been saying it's mixed between Stardew Valley and um, Animal Crossing, and I think I get that. You know, it's so a little bit of farming, a little bit of crop growing, stuff like that. Crafting, which is not really a thing in Animal Crossing. I mean, I guess you have your, you know, you can craft some furniture, some things like shirts and stuff in in a in Animal Crossing, but this is what I'm talking about right here. This. This is my game. Oh, come on. That's another one. I think it was a little bit early when I started. I think it was a little bit early. That's another one. There's two more right there. That's that's another one. There's three more. There's three more Barracuda right there that we could have caught if we wanted to spend the time. But my wife brought the food in and it's sitting in front of me and it's... Ah, oh, the, the, it's it's wafting into my nostrils, and I cannot help myself, guys. I must eat this food. So we're going to call it here. Let's look at the stingray real quick. Uh, 34, 3,400. It's not bad. Uh, it was a pretty challenging for 3,400, in my opinion, compared to the not much more... <laughs> not much more difficult uh, barracuda, but what are you going to do? Lay down, sleep until tomorrow. That's how you save the game here, guys. Let's look at this amount of money today. Let's look what we did. We should have a bit of, bit of fishing leveling up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I level eight now. Not a big deal. Maybe even some mining level up. We did a bit of that. Foraging. <laughs> 89,000 dinks earned on day six. I'd say not bad. That's the entire shop paid for right there. Someone is visiting the island. Uh, I bet you want to know who that is. You'll find out next time. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining. Peace out.